Welcome to Series 2 of The Core with Nathan Fowkes, hosted by Bobby Chu. Nathan Fowkes has been one of the top concept artists in the entertainment industry for over 20 years. His credits include The Prince of Egypt, How to Train Your Dragon, and Wonder Park. In this mini-series, Nathan will get to the core of concepts and ideas that he teaches in his schoolism classes. We hope you enjoy it. Hey Nathan, thank you so much for your time. I want to ask you about color and light. Uh, especially since you teach a class on designing with color and light on schoolism. In lesson three specifically, the assignment is a challenging one. Painting five thumbnail versions, uh, creating different color harmonies. Now that's very difficult, especially with the same environment. What should artists keep in mind when doing you know, five different versions using five different color harmonies? Yeah, that's a tough one, which is why we do it, obviously, because this comes up all the time. Uh, it comes up in, in video games. They, they're in a specific environment. They go somewhere. They come back through that environment at a different time of a day with a different mood, a different kind of thing happening. It's nighttime in animated movies all the time. And we just, as artists, as concept artists especially, that comes up so often that we have to have a range. We absolutely, if you're going to be a concept artist, that's what you've got to have. And so hence that assignment. And the most common solution that does not go far enough that I kind of give, you know, kind of, uh, uh, I, you know, give, give two stars instead of three or four is, okay, this is my red image. I have created a value comp and now I'll do a red version of it and a blue version of it and a green version of it. That's a star, but that image has to have a range of value. We all understand the idea that colors can have a limited palette and a limited palette can intensify the emotion. I think everyone's aware of that. You do a cool or a blue painting and that can intensify the, the mood of mystery or even sadness. What people don't seem to think about uh, as, as easily is a limited range of value can do exactly the same thing, a very narrow range of value. And so I get these images that all have the same value structure, but they have different color hue and different color saturation. And so I push them, okay, you did a light sky in every single one. Why didn't you do a dark sky? Why didn't you do a light foreground, a dark background, and then do one that had a dark background, light for a foreground, flip flop back and forth so that each image is different. And here's how that has helped me specifically, because when I do comps for a movie, it's very daunting. They say, okay, Nathan, here's the story moment. Come up with something. And, you know, I smile and nod and say, oh, yeah, I know exactly what I'm going to do. I, I got this thing locked. You know, come back. Come back in a couple hours. I'll have some ideas for you and act, act very confident about it. But in that moment, I have no idea what I'm going to do. And so I do a series of comps. And the first comp, I've been doing this a long time. Maybe the first comp looks pretty good. But I have my go-to things that I always do, maybe too much value contrast. So I do another comp, and usually it's a variation where I improve on that one. And then I'll do it, that'll spur another idea. So I'll do a variation on that, and that'll be the third one. But the fourth comp, I'll have run out of ideas on that first. And I'll have to do something completely different. And by the time I get to the fifth comp, on the same exact subject, I'm doing the same scene every single time. The fifth comp, I have to try something completely different. I've gotten my cliches out, and it tends to be that the fourth image or the fifth image is the exciting one because I had to come up with something unexpected, less common, different than what we commonly see, and inevitably show those to the director, and the director will say, oh, that there's something there. Let's go in that direction. And so that assignment is meant to do that. Where can we go with the lighting? 
And how can we change up the lighting completely on the same scene? How can we change up the value structure completely? How can we change up the color hue, you know, red, green, blue? How can we handle the same scene with completely different hues of color? How can we completely change up the saturation, a desaturated image, a highly saturated image, one that kind of strikes a balance between the two? We deal with each of those things on the same scene, and all of a sudden, you're a storyteller. You're a person who can create excitement with color and light in the same scene, and then you can make everyone sad. You, you know, your audience is in tears, you know, and you feel a little bit bad, almost manipulative, because you did that with the same scene. And then you get your audience really, uh, really on the edge of their seat with drama and excitement in the exact same scene. The moment you can do that, you're a real artist, and that's what that exercise is targeting. That's fantastic. So there you go. The five thumbnail challenge where each one is a different color harmony. Stretch your you know, brain muscles and go for it. And if you want to learn more, definitely check out Nathan Fowkes' class, Designing with Color and Light, on Schoolism.com.